Hey, this is Aaron with 11 One Leadership, bringing you on my video blog, tracking with me as I take you on the journey of what it takes in real time to start up a leadership organization. Hoping to launch in January 2016, and I have a lot of work to do in the meantime. I'm going to create this next series of videos to focus on one of my writing projects, and I'll actually be giving you guys inside information. In fact, my first draft of the whole manuscript, I'm going to just post on my blog. So if you don't want to buy the book, you can copy and paste straight from my blog, and that's a free gift to you guys. But I'm going to be explaining each chapter of this next book and posting it online and hopefully getting some of your feedback as to what you think about it. And maybe you can help me in the revision process as I have this work edited and revised into a final product. The book is going to be called Volume Ployee. That's not a real word. It's actually a word I created taking the term volunteer and the, the word employee and merging them together. And here's the concept. I've worked in a church setting for 11 years and the first seven years of my, of my ministry was with volunteers in the student ministry department. I didn't have any, any staff really and, and I always dreamed of the day when I could work with, with a team of student staff as well as volunteers but my, my first season of ministry was purely volunteer driven and I learned a lot about leading volunteers. I also dreamed of how easy ministry would be whenever I had a full staff to work with in student ministry. When I came to Westside, there were multiple staff on the student ministry team. And as I began working with them, it wasn't how my dreams played out to be. In fact, when I came into a position of leadership over, over the staff, um, I found myself really struggling. And I, and I noticed that I was leading staff employees differently than I was leading volunteers. And as I began to do some internal reflection, there are a lot of those differences that I didn't like. And so I just simply began observing them, note, noting them, and making changes in my leadership. And this book is a record of the process that I went through as a leader as I shifted from working just with volunteers to also employees. People treat volunteers differently than they treat employees. Sometimes that's okay, but sometimes it's not. This book, Volume Employee, is taking a look at the concepts of leading volunteers and the concepts of leading employees and really exploring where those two leadership concepts overlap because there is an overlap and there are some ways that many people lead volunteers that we should implement in how we lead employees. So if you are a leader of employees, I think this will really stretch you. It'll, it'll be a good, um, good read, or in this case, a good watch. And I'd love to discuss some of my ideas with you. So that's what's coming up over the next several weeks. Just little snippets here and there of the book. Um, this is just the intro video, so I hope you guys tune in next week to get my introduction to the book Volume Employee. Lead well until then. Bye.